Good afternoon, Northeastern. Before I begin, I'd like to wish a very special Happy Mother's Day to all who celebrate today. I'm Dennis Rome, Provost of Northeastern Illinois University, and it's my honor and pleasure to welcome you, our graduates, your families and friends, to the virtual commencement ceremony for the May 2021 graduates. We call this event a commencement because it is the beginning of something new, a new stage in the lives of those receiving degrees today. So the event looks to the future, but at the same time, it includes traditions from the past. Those traditions are a little different this year as we safely navigate the COVID-19 pandemic. But we are excited to celebrate your accomplishments in this new online way. Tuning in to today's celebration are members of the faculty and staff. It is through the work of these individuals in designing and executing the curricula of the university that you have been able to achieve your educational goals, culminating in graduation today. Please know that even though we are celebrating remotely, these dedicated faculty and staff members are cheering for you today. I ask that members of the graduating class join President Gibson and me in expressing our appreciation for a job well done, for they have truly changed your lives. The world needs graduates like you. You have persevered not only through rigorous academic programs, but also to an unprecedented international health crisis and all of the personal, professional, and academic challenges that come with it. Now, it is time to celebrate you on this important accomplishment. Best wishes to each of you, our graduates and new alumni. We hope you will return often to share your accomplishments with us and help steer future graduates towards academic success. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Gloria J. Gibson, president of Northeastern Illinois University. Good afternoon, Northeastern. Congratulations, graduates. It is a joy and an honor for me to speak to you today. As a mother myself, I want to take a moment to wish all the mothers, aunts, grandmothers, and all those who mother a very happy Mother's Day. I also want to take a moment to acknowledge the mothers who are here today in spirit. Although many of us have suffered great losses over the past year and a half, Today is a day to celebrate and honor not only our graduates, but all those who have championed them as well. On behalf of the faculty and staff at Northeastern, I thank everyone who has supported our students. This is your day as well. Class of 2021, now that you've completed the requirements for the degrees you are about to receive today, you shouldn't think of our commencement ceremony as a time when something ends. It's really a beginning, as well as an opportunity for celebration and appreciation. 
What do we have to celebrate? You've mastered the coursework. You've completed your last final exam. You've assured the faculty that you're ready. The diplomas you are about to receive aren't just being handed to you, you have earned them. I hope you take a moment to appreciate how far you've come and all those who helped you get to this day. Your friends, your teachers, your families, your classmates, because at Northeastern, we believe no one achieves their goals alone. Yet, I hope you also take a moment to appreciate yourself. You have struggled through experiences that generations before you did not have to navigate, particularly over the past year and a half. You faced unprecedented challenges and you persevered. I know many of you faced incredible obstacles to earn your degree. I am in awe of how you rose to the occasion time and time again to get to this day and achieve your goal. You assure me day in and day out that you are ready to be leaders. You will use the skills and knowledge acquired from our 153-year-old institution to make a difference, strengthen our communities, and make meaningful contributions to society, just like the more than 84,000 Northeastern graduates who have come before you. You will break barriers. How do I know this? Because you already have. Many of you are the first in your family to earn a college degree. Some of you have worked two or three jobs on top of taking a full course load. Some of you have balanced work and home life with schoolwork, not just of your own, but of your children's or younger siblings' schoolwork as well. I've said this time and time again, Northeastern students have grit. Today, I also encourage you to have gratitude. You see, it is the combination of grit and gratitude that opens doors. When you have passion and perseverance, and also keep the words thank you close, there's little you can't achieve. So I am confident that each of you, in your own unique way, will lead and serve the dynamic multicultural world you are stepping into. And I cannot wait to see what barriers you break next. On behalf of the entire Northeastern Illinois University community, faculty, staff, students, alumni, our many friends and supporters, and those who for generations have worked to sustain this special place, I extend to each of you our heartfelt congratulations and best wishes. Congratulations, class of 2021. I am so proud of you. It is now my pleasure to introduce Comptroller Susanna A. Mendoza as your May 2021 commencement speaker. Susanna A. Mendoza was sworn in 
as Illinois Controller on December 5, 2016, after running for office on a platform of prioritizing the most vulnerable residents at a time when the state had gone without a budget for more than two years. An advocate for stability, bipartisanship, comprehensive budget solutions, and open and transparent financial reporting, Mendoza serves as Illinois' Chief Fiscal and Accountability Officer. Now in her fifth year as Comptroller, Mendoza has initiated a transparency revolution in state government, working with legislators of both parties to introduce and pass several transformative measures that make state financial information more publicly available than ever before. This includes the Debt Transparency Act, the Truth in Hiring Act, the Budgeting for Debt Act, and the Vendor Payment Program Transparency Act. Mendoza is a trailblazer when it comes to women in politics. She was the first Hispanic independently elected to statewide office in Illinois after her historic win as the first woman elected Chicago City Clerk in 2011. She was also the youngest member of the Illinois General Assembly when she was elected to the House where she served for six terms representing Chicago's southwest side including Little Village, where she was born. We are delighted that Comptroller Mendoza is able to provide us with the following message to our graduates. Thank you, Comptroller Mendoza. Hi everyone, congratulations. I'm so thrilled for each and every one of you and the Northeastern Illinois University graduating class of 2021. You worked hard to get to this moment and I hope you enjoy it. My name is Susana Mendoza and I'm the controller of the state of Illinois. You're probably asking yourself, what's a state controller? I'm responsible for paying every single bill that comes into the state of Illinois. During college, were you ever faced with more bills coming due than you had money coming in to pay them? And you had to prioritize which bills were most important to pay first. Yep, that's my job. I'm the state of Illinois' chief financial and accountability officer. The fact you're getting your degree today means you've learned to plan ahead for bills and projects coming due. Continue developing these skills you've learned here to budget enough time for yourselves to finish assignments, pay your bills on time, and prioritize what's most important, your lives, your families, and your long-term goals. I am a fierce advocate for responsible state spending, and I work hard to make sure Illinois is viewed as a good investment. I am proud, especially as a woman and Latina, to hold statewide office in Illinois. I believe it's important to use my position to be a voice for the voiceless in our state, immigrants, the disabled, the elderly, and children. Today is an exciting day. You are looking ahead to a future filled with promise, joy, and success. I couldn't be happier for you because I know how difficult it's been for you to get to this day. This past year has been tough, especially for young people like yourselves whose lives and education were altered by a global pandemic, stay-at-home orders, online learning, and overwhelming uncertainty. But you made it to the other side. We're all proud of you. So pat yourselves on the back. A few observations about you and me. You are a proud golden eagle, a graduate of Northeastern Illinois University. I am a proud bulldog, a graduate of Northeast Missouri State University, 
Today it's known as Truman State University. Many of you were born in the late 1990s, just before the millennium. I graduated high school and went to college in the early 1990s. You grew up in the digital age. I remember the day my family got a VCR. Do you even know what that is? You and I come from two different generations, but I think we have something very important in common. We both believe in the enduring promise of investing in people. Now, I'm not just talking about financial investments, although one day you'll certainly be able to do that as a manager or a CEO or a donor to a cause. No, I'm talking about investing yourself, your time and your talents to help your fellow citizens better themselves and their circumstances. I'm talking about stepping out of your comfort zone and investing in your community and in humanity. Offering a hand up when it's needed and a shout out when it's deserved. Sharing your advice and encouragement. Opening your heart. Standing up for those who can't stand up for themselves. You're about to leave the comfort and familiarity of this university to take the next steps in your life and career, whether that's a job, furthering your education, or something else. And guess what? A lot of people invested in you along the way so that you can do that. Your professors, your families, other students, alumni, taxpayers, they all believed in you. So I want you to remember this. Faced with a difficult choice, you'll never go wrong if you choose whatever enables you to invest in people. Lift up a fellow human being. Ease someone's burden right or wrong. Really listen to what other people have to say. We live in an age in which Americans, intentionally or not, sort themselves into silos based on political, religious, and ideological beliefs. It's not a coincidence this has happened as we've witnessed a disinvestment in local newspapers and TV stations, which used to help us get to know each other and connect with others in our communities. At the same time, social media exploded. With the rise of Facebook and Twitter came the damaging disinformation campaigns and distrust of facts. That distrust confuses and divides people. Is it any wonder so many people seem to have lost the ability to talk to each other, to consider other points of view, to give people the benefit of the doubt? It doesn't have to be this way. We need to come together. We need to come together and rediscover what connects us. I'm counting on you to help make that happen. These are uncertain times we're living in. There are so many events happening around us, both inspiring and heartbreaking, that beg for the next generation of leaders to invest, step up, and lift up. The steps you take to connect with and unite people, though they might seem small or insignificant at the time, can actually change lives and heal divides. Invest in your community. Invest in others. Invest in yourself. I have one other piece of advice. I urge you to be open to change and the exciting possibilities that can come with it. The plans and the goals you have for yourself today may look a lot different in a few years. You never know what you may discover about yourself. True story. It was a chance encounter with a poorly written campaign brochure that led me from a career in advertising to a career in public service. In 1994, I graduated from college in Missouri with a degree in business administration. After graduation, I returned to Chicago to get a job and moved back to Little Village. My first job out of college was working the front desk at the Marriott on Michigan Avenue, which I loved, by the way. And then I worked at an advertising firm that specialized in Spanish language advertising. They had great clients like Miller Brewing and Coca-Cola. In the spring of 1995, I happened to pick up a bilingual campaign brochure in which a political candidate was attacking his opponent. 
As I read the literature, I, I was surprised and frankly offended to read its sloppy argument and botched Spanish. I thought to myself, if this candidate doesn't care enough about my community to take the time to proofread his work in Spanish before getting elected, well, I can only imagine how things would be if he actually got elected. I could have simply thrown it in the trash and gone about my business, but instead I took action. I was so incensed that I called the office of the targeted candidate, who I didn't know, by the way, and offered to write a rebuttal. In fact, I didn't have a computer back then, so I was up all night at Kinko's working on a mock-up of a brochure and presented it to him. Now, that's what people with no computers had to do back in the old days. That interaction, that phone call, it led to a friendship and later a working relationship with the candidate who, after seeing my passion for working to help people in the community, eventually encouraged me to run for his old seat in the state legislature. I realized that using a position of power to help make people's lives better was so much more important and meaningful to me than what the design of the new Coca-Cola can was going to look like. I knew I had found my true passion. I once again took action and I went for it. I was only 25 years old when I first ran for state representative and I lost that first election by 55 votes. Ugh. But I never gave up. I campaigned nonstop for the next two years and I was elected to the Illinois House of Representatives at age 28 the youngest member of that General Assembly at the time. I served six terms and went on to become the first woman elected city clerk of Chicago. And in 2016, I became the first Hispanic independently elected to statewide office as state controller. I'm proud of these accomplishments, but I'm amused as I look back and think that all it took to awaken my interest in politics was one really bad campaign brochure for someone I didn't even know at the time. Well, actually, that's not all it took. It took me making the call instead of just throwing the brochure in the trash. I took action. An advertising career is a faint memory today because of the action that led me to my true passion of public service. So no matter what your dreams or passions are, don't keep them in your head as daydreams. Put them into action. Sometimes you'll accomplish them. Sometimes you might not at the first or second try, but never give up. Remember that a vision without action is nothing more than a hallucination. Always keep looking forward to the possibilities and the pleasant surprises that can come your way in life if you put your positive thoughts into action. As I wrap up, I just want to say I hope you enjoyed your time at Northeastern Illinois University. I'm certain you're leaving here with wonderful friendships and memories that you'll always cherish. I hope you'll carry your passion, your optimism, and all the things you've learned in college out into the world to do great things, amazing things. You've worked hard. Now it's time to celebrate. Congratulations, class of 2021. I salute you. Thank you for those remarks, Comptroller Mendoza. Hello to all of the graduates. On behalf of the faculty and staff of the College of Business and Management, I want to thank you for joining us today. I'm Dr. Michael Bedell, Dean of the College of Business and Management, and I cannot express how proud I am of all of you for persevering through this incredible journey. Congratulations, you are the life's blood of our college, and it is your effort and achievements today and beyond that continue to move us forward. Since that day in March 2020, when all of our classes and student activities changed due to the coronavirus epidemic, I am delighted to say that the COBM faculty, staff, and students have engaged their creative minds and found ways to continue working with each other. We look forward to a future moment where we return to something approaching our past normal. If nothing else, the last year and a half has been an outstanding opportunity for us to practice what we preach in business. 
The virtual mandate brought on by COVID enabled us to create opportunities and see benefits to the student. We discovered how to pivot an organization and maintain quality in the midst of a difficult scenario. We have found ways to continue helping students develop opportunities even though we are not physically present. We have developed new curriculum for both undergraduates and graduate students. And we have partnered with units across campus, for example, the MBA program and the Public Health Masters to develop programs that we hope will be well received and useful to the community. More than 1,500 students participated in student club activities this past year. This includes record numbers in our annual Net Day event and International Business Conference. Our Beta Gamma Sigma student chapter was honored for its student activities this past year. But this year, we have inducted more students into Beta Gamma Sigma than ever before. But most importantly, you learned to pivot too. As students, you have continued your academic pursuits and you are graduating from a great program. Remember the degree you have earned is your foundation. AACSB accredited schools like ours represent the top 5% of the world's business schools. Today, there are 755 business schools in 51 countries that have earned AACSB accreditation. Each and every one of you is a part of that select group. Hold your heads high and be forever proud of yourselves, your degree, your foundation, and especially this college. Thank you for choosing NEIU and the College of Business and Management. Be proud alums and stay connected. We often see COBM alumni recommending their friends for jobs and you could be next. So go forth and always be golden. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, I now present to you the graduating class from the Northeastern Illinois University College of Business and Management. We will start with the graduates receiving master's degrees, followed by graduates receiving bachelor's degrees. Master's degree recipients. Yannika Barfield, MBA, Business Administration. Thank you, family and friends, for all of your support. Although my educational journey is complete, we do have big things in store. So get ready for the next chapter. Aisha Bashir, MS Accounting. Dora Bueno, MBA, Business Administration. Alex Kasten, MS Accounting. Erica Fajardo Agudo, MBA, Business Administration. Leticia Ferreira Popio, MBA, Business Administration. Catherine Francis, MBA, Business Administration. Gansuj Galbadrak, MS Accounting. Lucy Groters, MS Accounting. Veronica Jara, MBA, Business Administration. Mary Kasha, MBA, Business Administration. Marta Lee Berdy, MBA, Business Administration. Sandra Malko, MBA, Business Administration. Christina McInerney, MBA, Business Administration. Arbina Mamishi, MS Accounting. Ling Ching Moore, MBA, Business Administration. Today, I graduate with the highest honor. From the deep of my heart, I want to say thank you very much to my family. Jessica Mueller, MBA, Business Administration.
Michael Emmiken, MBA, Business Administration. Keicho Pema, MBA, Business Administration. Akhil Kamar, MS Accounting. Yasmin Reyes, MS Accounting. Claudia Sabin, MS Accounting. Evita Subkowski, MBA, Business Administration. Arriven Tunk Akeel, MS Accounting. Maria Vences, MS Accounting. Kevin Wilk, MS Accounting. Bachelor's Degree Recipients. Sama Ablahad. B.S. Accounting Michael Adams B.S. General Business Administration Madian Atakinbalo B.S. General Business Administration I want to thank God for this day. I want to thank my families and friends, particularly my husband, my children, my biggest cheerleader, Mrs. Tobias. Muhammad Alan Aswa, BS Management. Toka Al Nacha, BS Accounting. Magna Cum Laude. Afton A. Archer, BS Marketing. Julio Edgar Ariola, BS Finance. Jose Avila, BS Finance. John Barco, BS Accounting. Angelo Barrera, BS Finance. Jennifer Bartoli, BS Accounting, Magna Cum Laude, Aj Labikar, BS General Business Administration, Lev Bursnev, BS Finance, Cum Laude, Elma Bisik, BS Accounting, Justin B. Sick, B.S. Finance, Cum Laude, Jeremiah Brooks, B.S. Management. Here it's a blessing moment. I'm excited for the future, and we finally did it. Golden Eagles. What more can I say? Let's get it. Carolina Buescher. B.S. Management. Rocio Bustamante. B.S. Accounting. Brandon Bird. B.S. General Business Administration. Richard Castillo. B.S. Accounting. Magna Cum Laude. Johan Cervantes. B.S. Finance. Ali Chaudhry, B.S. Accounting. Nubia Esmeralda Chicas, B.S. Management. Michael Sison, 
BS Management. Devin Clay, BS Marketing. Claudette Daly, BS Accounting. Magna Cum Laude. Junior Diaz, BS General Business Administration. Rita Dinka, BS Management. Elsbita Dwojak, BS Accounting. Spencer Elmore, BS Accounting. John Nina Marlene Enriquez, BS Marketing. Ariella Fogel, BS Marketing. Anthony Garcia, BS Marketing. Jose Garcia Alfaro, BS Marketing. Liza Garza, BS General Business Administration. Andres Gonzalez, BS Finance. Summa Cum Laude. Aurora Gonzalez, BS Marketing. Adam Gorgias, BS Accounting. Alexandra Greco, BS Management. Matthew Groner, BS Marketing. Catherine Gehosa, BS General Business Administration. Antonio Gutierrez Martinez, BS Marketing. Marima Hadzik, BS Marketing. Roberto Enriquez, BS Finance. Michael Herman, BS General Business Administration. Haiti Hernandez, BS General Business Administration. Sarah Hernandez, BS Marketing. Dana Herrera, BS General Business Administration. Cum Laude. Wanshing Huang, BS Accounting. Cum Laude. Osman Hassani, BS Accounting. Nathan Hike, BS Management. Irina Iacobat, BS Accounting, Cum Laude, Aisha Jabin, BS General Business Administration, Nicholas Collis, BS Marketing. Summa Cum Laude. Eleni Kalaudis. BS Management. Magna Cum Laude. Elmer Karadzic. BS Finance. Magna Cum Laude. Kelsey Kiefner. BS Management. Cum Laude. Nicole Keeler. BS Management. Magna Cum Laude. I just want to say thank you to my family and my friends for sticking by me these last four years. And we finally did it. Matt Koharjik. BS Finance. Agnieszka Kuzma. BS General Business Administration. Anson Lau. B.S. Finance.
N. M. Latif. B.S. General Business Administration. Cum Laude. James Lee. B.S. Finance. Cum Laude. Zach Lugo. B.S. Finance. Faith Virgil Manipal. B.S. Accounting. Myra Martinez. B.S. Accounting. Dylan McDonald. B.S. Finance. Cum Laude. Luna Mabratu. B.S. General Business Administration. Alice Mudge Sinovic. B.S. Management. Cum Laude. Alexander Muniz. B.S. Finance. Jorge Munoz. B.S. Accounting. Tatiana Ornelas. B.S. Accounting. Cynthia Oshana. B.S. Accounting. Andrea Palafox. B.S. Accounting. Peter Pappas. B.S. General Business Administration. Akta Patel. B.S. Accounting. Neha Patel. B.S. General Business Administration. Cum Laude. Yeah. Hafik Patel. B.S. Accounting. Chris Posmino. B.S. Finance. Vanessa Pelinkovic. B.S. Management. Karina Pena. B.S. Marketing. Samantha Perez. B.S. Accounting. Daniel Pons Garcia. B.S. General Business Administration. Summa Cum Laude. Jessica Alexandra Quispy Pena. B.S. Accounting. Cum Laude. Fahad Rakib. B.S. Finance. Magna Cum Laude. Oscar Rebolar. B.S. Accounting. Syed Rehan. B.S. Management. Francisco Rivera Arriaga. B.S. Management. Gilani Rodriguez. B.S. Marketing. Natalie Rodriguez. B.S. Accounting. William Rogers. B.S. General Business Administration. Magna Cum Laude. Jessica Romero. B.S. Marketing. John Round. B.S. Management. Lolita Salgado. B.S. Accounting. Randy Samuel. B.S. Management. Steve Seaman. B.S. Accounting. Magna Cum Laude. Kelsey Segata. B.S. Accounting. Austin Seitz. B.S. Finance. Cum Laude. Mario Sivrik. B.S. General Business Administration. Magna Cum Laude. Brian Sadnam. B.S. General Business Administration. 
Shania Sotelo, B.S. General Business Administration, Nicholas Sipulinski, B.S. Accounting, Cum Laude, Gabriela Tejo, B.S. General Business Administration. I'd like to thank God and all my family who support me during all this journey. And even though some people are not here present with me, but are in my heart. We did it! Alexis Tolentino, B.S. General Business Administration. Nortoma, B.S. Finance. Leanne Tran, B.S. Marketing. Aaron Trevino, B.S. Marketing. Jocelyn Urquizo, B.S. Finance. Daisy Valladares, B.S. General Business Administration. Marco Vasic, B.S. General Business Administration. Leticia Velasquez, B.S. Accounting. Jacqueline Villegas, B.S. Management. Cum Laude. Amra Vokic, B.S. Management. Nicholas Willoit, B.S. Accounting. Rav Mesha Williams, B.S. General Business Administration. Ethan Wolf, B.S. Marketing. Leroy Woods, B.S. Accounting. Ian Ji Wu, B.S. Management. Samantha Whiterwall, B.S. Accounting. Celine Zambrano, B.S. Accounting. Vera Zavatin, B.S. Accounting. Now that our last graduate has been recognized, I want to again congratulate everyone who participated in today's celebration. I have three final messages for all of you. Use your new skills and knowledge to make the world a better place. Stay connected with us, be engaged with NEIU, and come back home often. And make sure everyone knows you're from Northeastern Illinois University.